Hey, how's it going everybody? Tall Tesla guy here. And one thing I'm gonna talk about today is something that's sort of near and dear to my heart. Um, if you've been following the videos, I've made a handful of videos about the specific topic and it's because it's important to me and it's probably important to you guys as well. You may not buy a Tesla just because they're safe, but it's nice to know that you have a cool car that you like, that you enjoy, that uh, is actually safe on the other hand. Now I would say, with relative certainty that a good percentage of the vehicles out there are pretty safe. You're not gonna, you're gonna get a vehicle, at least not in the United States, it's gonna be extremely unsafe that you're able to ride on the roads. However, it's nice to know that Tesla continues to get five-star ratings on everything they do. Now, this in particular isn't really a total surprise just because they've always had it, but with all the new regulations, all these, these more stringent controls, they're actually getting it more now, or getting it again anyway, in addition to what they had before. So sit back, relax. You guys are watching the Tall Tesla Guy. So just recently, the IIHS came out with more stringent safety controls. They determined that with all the recalls that were happening and everything rightly recently with cars, namely Tesla, safety recalls and such, that they needed to make their controls more stringent. So they increased the depth of what they were gonna be diving into the cars. They made it so it was harder to get the five-star rating. They made it so that the cars needed to be better performing than they were before, better safety performing. Now, Tesla has always had top IIHS and NHSA safety picks safety star ratings, however you want to call it. They've always had that. Every single one of the car, every single one of the Tesla cars is a five-star rated safety vehicle, which is which is huge. It was important to me. It should be important to anybody that's looking to buy one. You wonder kind of what that means. Well, in the case of Tesla, it means that side impact rating is going to be high. Protection for the people in the cabin is going to be high. Uh, the way that the car handles a crash, the way that it moves energy around the vehicle when it gets into a crash. And then on top of that, and maybe more importantly, I'm not sure, you wanna protect everybody in the car anyway, but the cars that you've noticed, or if you haven't noticed, Teslas tend to have a panoramic glass roof. At least my Model Y does. Now I love the glass roof on the Model Y. I love the way it looks. I love looking out at it. I love driving around with it. However, it makes you wonder, is it still safe? Is the car still safe with it? Well, now Teslas in general, the Model Y specifically, can handle five times the weight of the vehicle on the roof before it starts to cave in and collapse. There's been situations where cars have been in accidents, rollover accidents, flipped off of overpasses, landed on their roofs, and they did not collapse in. And this is mainly due to the structural integrity of the roll cage in the car or the, the structural integrity of the frame of the car. This is the Model Y, but it's similar to the Model X, Model S, and Model 3 as well. Now, having a five-star safety rated vehicle without um, you know the, the risk of collapsing or, or crushing when it rolls over on its top is super important. But then I wonder to myself, how often does that even happen? Well, specifically with Teslas, they have a really low center of gravity. You probably notice or know that the car has a battery underneath it. It's in between the wheels and the car on the bottom. It makes it really low to the ground. In fact, it's the only car that the NHSA, NHTSA, National Highway Transport Safety, Transportation Safety Administration, we'll get there, has not been able to flip over in their tests. And you can see that they, they put the Model X, which is the, you know, technically the highest, um, lip, you know, the highest vehicle that they have that Tesla has. It's the, the tallest, I guess, uh, not including the Cybertruck. And they put it through the sand test, they put it through the flip test, the turn test, it doesn't flip over. It's the only vehicle that they've never been able to flip over. And that, you know, that trickles down to all the other Teslas as well. And it's not, like I said, not a surprise because it does have the low center of gravity of the battery in there, but nonetheless, it's good to know. I'm happy to hear that my car is not gonna flip over. And I love the fact that it's still safe. Now the IIHS recently upped their safety requirements. They added stuff to the cars to make them, or added stuff to the requirements to make sure that cars were adhering to new safety standards, adhering to new crash specifications. And Tesla, even with the increased regulations from the, uh, the test, was able to pass all of their tests with five-star ratings, um, kind of hands tied behind the back, I guess. They were able to jump in there and do it. So I get this question a lot. Is your car safe? Especially people jumping in the car for the first time, seeing the roof, seeing the car, hearing EV concerns, things like that. 
And I can happily say that it is not only NHTSA five-star, but it's also IIHS five-star rated. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna run out there and live a happy life knowing that I'm driving a safe car or one of the safest out there, either way. Let me know what you think. Is that gonna make you change your mind on it? Would that make you jump in there and buy a Tesla because it's safe or in spite of the safety? Um, either way, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. It's been a fantastic journey so far. I can't wait to see we go from here. I appreciate you guys going along for the ride. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, week, month so far, and that you're doing everything you can to stay safe out there, whether it's in your Tesla or not. But um, thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you on the next one.